Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of StampWithNelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in the UK. And today I am going to use all of this. So we have the Celebration stamp set, Amazing Freezing. I've got ribbon, trim, a couple of punches, this very best trio, which is fabulous, and our rectangle postage stamp. Little bits of card, some ink for that stamp set, some bling, always gonna have bling, and some of the gorgeous paper that comes from the host set called Celebrate Everything. And this set has absolutely tons of gorgeous paper, but is exclusive to um, host rewards. So if you want to learn more about Host Rewards, please visit my website www.stampwithnelly.com and click on the host code page. So I'm going to turn that and all the other product using the other products and my trimmer into this. And inside it, it has a little pack of two face masks. The face masks are really bright and colourful, so I thought it would be great to use a colourful um, piece of designer series paper. And there's so much to choose from in that pack. And combine it with amazing phrasing for Hey Good Looking, which I thought was really appropriate for a face mask. So, let's get started. I've cut my 12 by 12 paper in half um, but I need to trim it down a little bit more so it's at the moment it's six inches by 12 inches and I want to trim that down to six inches by eight and a half All right. and I can use this piece um, for a card or something like that later on I'm going to stick with using my trimmer because I want this to be a quick and easy project. I'm going to score that at two inches and then at six inches. Okay, turn it around and score at half inch on the long side. Right. That's that done. And these two outer rectangles here, just going to chop them off. Now, I'm chopping with a little bit of an angle there. And I actually want to cut the top of that score line there. Okay, like so. So I've cut that score line out altogether. It doesn't matter if it's not perfectly straight it's going to be covered. So again, just at the top of that score line along to there, and then just a little wedge off there. So we end up with a piece like that. Okay, super easy. Just fold those. Because it's paper, it doesn't need burnished as such so you've got one side that's slightly wider than the other and you want to put that one at the bottom i'm just going to use tearing tape because it's nice and quick and easy tearing tape along that edge towards the top and belt and braces i'll put a piece along here as well Oops, didn't need to do that, but we're going to cover that anyway. And I want to put a piece on the inside of the little flap that's there as well. I'll just use my ruler and get a neater edge on that. All right, so taking this one off and this one, just folding that over. Nice neat edge at the top. I'm not so bothered about the bottom because we're taking that off and we're folding that up to cover that up. Okay, 
So we've now got our little envelope. I'm bringing in the very best Trio punch. Now, I know that that is precisely in the middle. So I can use this little line here on my punch lined up with that edge and I'll know that I've got that in the middle for my ribbon okay and then I'm going to use this piece here this corner pattern and to make sure that you've used you get the same pattern you need to flip it over and do it again okay so you've got it going the same way not a lot of wastage on my paper. Good, because I don't like to waste anything. Now, I had the idea of making these for customer gifts. They could be um, um, swaps at an event, or you could use them for table favours, party gifts, anything like that. And because I'm using, um, because I want to do quite a few at the same time, I find using um, punches so much more quick. So I've just already gone ahead and punched out some rectangles. Ink up my stamp. I've put both stamps on the same block here. If you were doing really lots of them, then you might want to use your stamparatus. Put that on and then you can cut a... Uh, a rectangle postage stamp out of a piece of card and then when you've got your blank ones you pop them in that gap and just keep stamping so great idea for that just gonna add this on with some wet glue although i could have used my tear and tape for that as well straighten that up now this piece of polished pink card is one and five eighths by two and a quarter and just gives a nice little margin around there i want some polished pink ribbon and roughly four inches of that where are my ribbon scissors there they are okay and again, I'm going to use my tear and tape. Let me just close this before I put something like my hand in it. And I'm going to put three strips of tear and tape on here. Ruler. Doesn't have to be that neat. on a little jaunty angle there we've got the seam at the back and can pop that on the front like so pop in my little gift now I did make this six inches so that um, I could get two out of one sheet, but it does mean that I have to fold the top off my face masks, but that's absolutely fine. There's plenty of room for that. A little bit of this gorgeous silver edged white ribbon. Pop that there. Some of the silver twine from the Simply Elegant Twine Combo Pack. And it comes with silver and gold. I've used a lot of the gold recently, so I've actually, I bought a new pack, but I've still got some of the um, silver left from my previous pack. So um, I'll be using up the silver on these. Okay. I mean, you could have used the same ribbon there. I just thought it was quite nice to do something a little bit different. 
play about till you're happy with your little bow. Trim off any excess. And I'm going to chop that down as well. And final touch is that bling. So we've got lots of different colours on here. Um, and these are not a perfect match. Uh, obviously the polished pink ones are. Um, but I think it's quite nice just to, to pop on some other colours as well. Okay, so there we have it. Nice, quick, easy project. Great one if you need to make something in bulk. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got time to leave me a comment, that would be awesome. If you're new to my channel, then please click on the subscribe button. And if you click on the bell, you'll get notifications of the next time I upload a video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.